Look, even my story animated. Ugh. You know, my story animated uh, is realizing that they're fake and stuff and that they copy off each other. Look. Oh, wow. Wow. Hi, this morning, I woke up with a terrible stomach ache. I was in so much pain. It felt like a ball of thorns was stuck in my digestive system. It was so painful that I couldn't even get up or make a sound. I rolled over and fell out of bed onto my dog, who usually slept on the floor. He started whining. I couldn't even rub his belly to make him feel better. None of this matters. No one cares. It has nothing to do with the story. As I was lying on the floor holding my stomach, my dog started barking. I knew no one was in the house to help me. I was alone. You see, my mom disappeared when I was a young girl, leaving my dad to raise me as a... Hey, hey, hey. trying to find a reason she died. Yeah, I don't care. Backlash. Single parent. My dad is a truck driver, and he usually leaves the house at 5.30 a.m. for his job. Since I only get up a few hours later, he doesn't ever wake me up, leaving me to get some beauty sleep. I was crouching on the floor while my dog was barking at me. I sometimes wonder if my dog is a... I kissed my BF and woke up. This has nothing to do. So far, I've only heard her, her dog, her mom, and dad. That's it. A little bit stupid. Can't he see that I'm suffering? I felt numb. It was so He's painful. I couldn't even get up to grab my cell phone. At that so moment, I felt like passing out. Maybe just closing my eyes and saying hi to the angels. I mean, what would you do in a situation like that? To my surprise, just as my stomach felt like it was going to rip out of my body, my dog stood on his hind legs and used his nose to push my cell phone off of the bedside table. He pushed it towards my hand. Wow, he wasn't so stupid after all. I could gather enough strength to call 911. The operator was really helpful. She dispatched an ambulance and within a few minutes, paramedics were at my home. I could hear them knocking on the door. My dog ran down the stairs, barking from the inside. They must have figured that it was an emergency, and they kicked down the door. My dog led them to my room where they found me. The moment I saw the paramedic, I passed out. I only woke up in a hospital bed. I had no idea what time it was or where I was. Hello, sleepyhead, said a voice. I couldn't see clearly. I felt really dizzy and confused. Where am I? A sharp pain shot th Still no boyfriend. Wow. Through my stomach. My face pulled as if I was eating a lemon. It was complete agony. Shh. Rest, sweetheart, the voice said. I couldn't really see what was going on, but I could feel a needle stuck in my arm. This stranger was touching my arm where the needle was. Then, it felt like she was injecting a fluid through the needle into my body. What? My eyes rolled and I passed out again. It was morning when I woke up from the sun shining on my face. My mind was more clear. I was laying alone in a hospital room. As I gazed around the room, I was shocked to see a horrendous sight. My stomach! It was swollen like I had swallowed a huge pumpkin. Did I die and woke up as a pregnant lady? I lifted up the sheets and saw that my stomach was the size of a hot air balloon. Tears started rolling down my face. I cried- You guys can easily tell how fake this is. Exaggerations. Stupid moments. And obviously, just things that can't actually happen so loud that a nurse came running through the door. She was saying something, but I couldn't hear. That horrible pain in my stomach was me, a 14-year-old growing a baby. No, no, this can't be happening. Was I imagining things? I can't be pregnant. I only had one kiss with Michael next to the swings during recess. This can't be happening. I must be on drugs. I must be dreaming. The nurse was trying to calm me down, but I was yelling and screaming. I can't believe I'm pregnant. How did this happen? She started laughing. Her laugh was so loud that it overshadowed my screaming. I looked at her in disgust. Was this a laughing matter? A sudden knock on the door interrupted us. It was my dad. He came rushing in. Blue circles formed under his eyes. It looked like he hadn't slept in days. I thought I had lost you. He looked really worried. My dad was glad I was okay, but he was more worried to get me out of there. You can't be in this hospital. Why did they bring you here? He was acting really weird. Then, dad tried to lift me up. He wanted to take me home. I didn't want him to take me anywhere. I felt really weak. I needed to rest. He didn't even notice my huge tummy. 
Why was he acting so strange? Then he noticed my huge stomach. He gasped for air. How would your parents react if they thought you were pregnant? Well, definitely not like my dad. Surprisingly, one, I'm a boy. Two, I don't want to have kids. Yeah, my, I don't know. <laughs> and three, I don't live with my parents. And four, I have no friends, so joke's on you. <laughs> he yelled, I'm gonna be a grandpa. He gave me a huge hug and a kiss. I was terrified for a moment to hear him say this. I was about to freak out one more time, but then the nurse laughed again. My dad went totally ballistic. I've never seen him like this. He wanted to leave the hospital right away. He was yelling at the nurse. He even grabbed my arm and pulled the dip straight out of my artery. Dad, ouch! At this point, he was really scaring me. He was acting like a lunatic. The nurse called the security and they removed my dad from the room. I've never seen him so out of control. My dad was forced to stay outside the hospital what the hell is this music why the music until i was released my dad's outburst was unusual i've never seen him freak out like this the pain in my stomach started to increase again so i couldn't bother with his weird behavior the nurse put her hands on my giant stomach then she pushed with both her palms gently a pressure was building up and then finally air from my stomach escaped through my mouth I gave a loud burp. I could feel my lips trembling and the curtains hanging over my bed blew in the moving air. I blushed bright red, but the nurse made me feel relaxed. She reinserted my drip and gave me something to fall asleep. Somewhere during the night, I woke up from a commotion in my room. I saw my dad and the nurse. They were struggling. It seemed like they were hugging. I wasn't quite sure as I was so sleepy. My dad had his hand over the nurse's mouth. He had an unfamiliar look in his eyes. Maybe I was dreaming. I fell asleep again. Hearing the rattling of wheels and feeling my body shake, I woke up. A little bit dazed, but I could see that I was moving through a long corridor. Looking down, my stomach was finally back to normal. Was this a wheelchair? My first thought was that the nurse might be moving me to another room. A hand was resting on my shoulder. Looking at the hand, I realized this wasn't the nurse. Hold tight, honey. I'm breaking you out of here. It was my dad. He was wearing a nurse's outfit. I know my dad would never hurt me, but in this weird state, I didn't trust him. I tried to gather some strength to stop the wheelchair. I yelled, Dad, stop. You're scaring me. It was as if he didn't hear me. My dad hid his face and hair behind a medical mask and nurse's hat. If I didn't know him, he could really pass as a really good looking nurse. A doctor came walking towards us. He greeted my dad. Morning, nurse. My dad changed his voice into a woman's and said, Morning, doctor. I'll need you in room 436 to assist in surgery in 10 minutes. I'll be there, Dr. Traming. Surely my dad wasn't serious, was he? It was as if he liked being a nurse. He pushed me into a patient's room. Then he pretended to check their medical file that was attached to the bed. He even had a thermometer that he stuck in the patient's mouth to check their fever. He listened to their heartbeat and even took their pulse. It was ridiculous. Under his breath, my dad said, I would have made a great doctor if only they accepted me into medical school. I don't remember my dad ever saying anything about wanting to be a doctor or a nurse. Then my dad froze completely. He got this mad grin on his face. Oh, they need me in surgery. He pushed me and the wheelchair into the cupboard. I tried to stand up, but I was too weak and couldn't move. I Most of the story talking about just her and her psychotic dad wanting to be a doctor, pretending to be a girl, and her having stomach issues and dogs that aren't retarded. And like one sentence about what the damn title is implying. Desperately needed to rest, he locked the door behind him and went off to surgery. After about 30 minutes, I heard people yelling, Catch him! He's not a nurse! Obviously, they figured out my dad was pretending to be a nurse. I could hear them running, and then he barged into the cupboard, grabbed the wheelchair, and started pushing me through the hospital. I was so scared. I had no idea what he was capable of doing. I screamed and tried to escape, but the wheelchair was going so fast. The wheelchair bumped into medical equipment and food trays. At one point, the wheelchair even and slid on some liquid that spilled on the floor. The nurses were phoning the security, but my dad kept going, ditching doctors, patients, and visitors in the hallways. He was heading towards the elevator. As we entered the elevator, what was that? On the floor. The nurses were phoning the security, but my dad kept going, ditching doctors, patients, and visitors in the hallways. He was heading towards the elevator. As we entered the elevator, he pushed the button to go to- Was that turd freaking taking a damn turd in the-
to the highest floor. We turned around and I could see security guards running towards us. Why was I feeling so scared with my dad? I usually felt safe with him, but not today. To be honest, I actually wanted the security guards to save me from my dad. He was acting totally crazy, sticking out his tongue, going na 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 na, mocking them. The elevator door closed just before the security guards could reach us. The highest floor number flashed. We were moving up. Something was really off. Where was my dad taking me? Why weren't we going to the basement where the car must be parked? In the elevator, my dad was dancing and laughing like a madman. He was really doing a bunch of bad stuff. He can really hurt someone. Or me. I was feeling so anxious. Let's have some fun. We finally reached the top floor. The elevator doors opened, and luckily, there were security guards waiting for us. I yelled at the top of my voice. Help! Help! My dad let out a shriek scream, and then he pushed me towards the security guards. He ran away with his nurse's dress flapping in the air, disappearing somewhere in the hospital. The security guards ran ran towards him, leaving me behind. I had to go after them. With the last bit of energy I had left in my body, I tried as hard as I could and lifted myself off of the wheelchair. My legs were buckling underneath me, but I could walk again. I assumed that my dad would take the stairs down. There was no other way to go. So I took the elevator and stopped on each floor. Even though I was scared of him, I wanted to help him too. Something wasn't right. Once the floors have opened, I would peek out to see if I spot him. When I reached the eighth floor, my dad, wearing a nurse's outfit, pointing his fist at some guy. I yelled, and when my dad turned around, I couldn't believe my eyes. The guy he was standing next to was also my dad. He was wearing a trucker's cap. Wait, I saw two of my dad. There were two of them. One was totally crazy, pretending to be a nurse, and the other wearing his trucker's cap. I was in such a big shock and so weak that I- Because you wear the same clothes, doesn't make you the same person. Like, sure, I wear the same stuff every day. Like, not the same stuff, but like, I have like multiple pairs of the same clothes. I mean, except sweaters, I change those every now and then. Kind of like this, but it's not the point. Oh. Yeah, you change your clothes, doesn't make you a completely different person. Collapsed. I woke up in a hospital bed. My dad, this time my real dad, was sitting next to me, holding my hand. Turns out, the man pretending to be a nurse escaped from the insane asylum next door. He just looked a lot like my dad, and the medication I was on confused my judgment. My stomach couldn't digest it, and it ruptured a part of my intestine, and now I'm bloated. Turns out, I was in this hospital for almost two days. They had to do an emergency surgery. I still have a little scar on my stomach today. A few days later, I was released from the hospital. I felt much better. My real dad was by my side, protecting me and keeping me safe. So, um, yeah. Didn't see much of your boyfriend. And you woke up, so... Clickbait. And, and friggin'... Clickbait, you, you... Because... Look, money, it, it's nice. You too, you know, I don't know. Okay, just be someone honest, damn.